Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of the Ratliff Mandolin's Weekly Production Diary where I am going to tell you all of the things that happened this week here at Ratliff Mandolin's. We'll start with Monday and I'll run some footage of some of the things that we are going to talk about and some things probably not like Monday morning we started out uh, gathering paperwork for taxes. It's tax time here in America so we were uh, gathering some stuff and getting it ready to go to the accountant. But then after that, we come down. Well, first of all, I had some more paperwork to do. Had to uh, work up a, a work order and a, re a deposit receipt for a fellow that ordered a master model from Texas. So I had to do all his paperwork and get him ready uh, so that we could put him in the uh, pipeline in the process as well and then we come down here and I pulled out my handy dandy shooting board and my uh, antique hand plane that I'm awful proud of and started shooting uh, the spruce tops that we had laid out for the upcoming batch and that uh, that took an awful lot of the day Uh, so I got some of those glued and then I put a pickup in a D28 and I got all of that done before I started teaching lessons at 5 o'clock. So Monday was a pretty busy day. Now Tuesday, although it was busy, it was pretty boring because all I did was final sanded the uh, mandolin shaped mandicello in preparation for, for putting the final coats of lacquer on it and I got that done although I didn't get the lacquer put on until the following day on Wednesday we put the final coats of lacquer on that mandicello then we come back in the big room here and started on the, gathering up all of the glued tops and the unglued pieces of uh, back maple that I had laid out uh, for this new batch as well. So uh, we started joining those uh, pieces of maple in preparation for making the backs for this upcoming batch as well. Also on Wednesday I glued the uh, fingerboard binding on a Gretsch a 1959 Chet Atkins Country Gentleman that wandered through the door. It's a nice old guitar. When Thursday came along, we started in on the backs again. I also packed up the two mandolins from last week, the one going to Morgan in, uh, Music and the one going to Rawson Music, and I packed up the K5 Mandicello. And so it is now uh, Friday morning, and I have all of those uh, instruments are sitting in there waiting for the pickup to be shipped to their final destination. 
And so for the rest of my day, I have all of these backs that are glued up. All of the gluing's been taken care of. I'm going to take those out of all these gluing uh, uh, clamps and um, put the profile, mandolin profile on these things and saw them out on these two band saws so that I will have a whole stack instead of a whole stack of square boards. I'll have a stack of shape boards that, are, that look like mandolins and if I get far enough along I will pull out all the stuff and start gathering all the stuff to do the bowling and the outside shaping job. And that's how I'm going to spend the rest of my Friday. I'd like to say thank you for sticking with us all the way to the end. We do this each and every week and I invite you to come back next week for the next episode of the Ratliff Mandolin's Weekly Production Diary. Thank you.